Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today I'm going to show you guys some exciting metrics from our iDRAC server. I'm going to show you how to get your Dell server temperature and fan speed and also your Dell server's power. All these metrics straight from your Dell iDRAC. You see, Dell comes with this iDRAC. You can sign in here and see your power usage and everything, but this just is not convenient. If you have dashboards like what I have right here, you'd want that information here. You want to know what the temperature of your critical server is. So if that's what you're after, if that's something that interests you, this video is definitely for you. I highly suggest that you watch until the end before you start following my instructions that I also put in the description below. This is because I do mention some tips and tricks that got me working in no time that if you just follow the instructions in the description, you might actually find yourself coming back to this video. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet so that uh, you can end up with your own graphs in no time. So let's just start to begin with you're going to need a complete installation of Grafana. I do have a video on my channel that will show you exactly how um, to do this. This is a video that I set up last time. This was just uh, monitoring power usage straight from your machine. But the video that I'm talking about that tells you exactly how to install Grafana is um, right here. So you want to follow the instructions in this video to end up with a complete installation of Grafana. If you have a CentOS VM already, this will take you less than 10 minutes. I guarantee you, look, there was a guy who was talking about this, right? He said that uh, he was calling Boo because it took him six minutes. So that will get you up and running. But today I'm going to show you exactly how to start with your iDRAC. You want to make sure that your server does have iDRAC. I have Express right here. To my understanding, most Dell servers come with the iDRAC functionality and I'm not even using the Enterprise. The Express is the basic one that comes with most servers. And to enable it, mine wasn't enabled. To enable it, just follow instructions that are up here. But pretty much it's just starting the server and actually uh, pressing Control E when, during the boot up process and you can just turn it on, create an IP address, username and password. Once you're done, you can sign in and you'll be able to just see all this information. Once you get here, the next step is you wanna have a virtual machine like I do. I call it Data Collector. It's running CentOS 7. I mentioned how I had this set up in my other videos. It's basically CentOS 7, then you install Telegraph. Telegraph is what sends data to our database, InfluxDB. Then InfluxDB pushes that, pushes that data to uh, Grafana. Then uh, Grafana grabs that information from the database for graphing. To sign into your data collector VM that is as CentOS and also as Telegraph, you just want to install Open IPMI. So you just type yum install Open IPMI, hit enter. And as you can see, I already have it installed, so I don't have to do it. Once you have your Open IPMI 2 installed, you want to test to make sure that you are actually getting data from your Dell server. Once you enabled iDRAC, you should have an IP address. So you want to run this command to just connect to your Dell server and see if you can get some information. As you can see, it's IPMI 2, LAN plus, and is if you run this command, um, the only distinction will be your username, mine is root, and this is my password, lahilabs2018. Don't worry, this is not exposed to the internet, this is for testing, so there is no uh, harm for me to do this. Once you do that, just hit enter. As you can see, it should look like, like this. This is just showing you the metrics that it's uh, getting. Once you see this information, you know you're ready to go and configure Telegraph to send this information straight to InfluxDB so Grafana can grab it. 
So to do that, we have to edit our telegraph.conf file. And in, the, in that file, there is an IPMI plugin that we can just uncomment and the data will be on its way to telegraph. So I'm using VI, as you can see down here, to edit my telegraph.conf. Once you're in your telegraph.conf, you want to just search for IPMI to get there. And as you can see, mine is already set up. I'll just highlight which metrics you need to uncomment. You need to uncomment this line. Yours might be commented when you get in here. Then you also need to uncomment the servers right here and put your root and your password. And remember, it's LAN plus right here Then the IP address of your iDREX server. Once you have that information there, there's also the interval that you need to change. You can change this to be whatever. This is how often we're getting this information. I have 30 seconds and 20 seconds, but you can make, it, make this shorter. So once you're done, you can just save and you're done. If we go to Grafana right now, Grafana should be getting that information, all that information that I showed you from here. So let's go to our Grafana VM and I'll show you. So this is my existing graph. So I'm going to show you how to get the temperature in uh, degrees Celsius. You can do some calculations to make it Fahrenheit, but you can keep it in Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius depending on where you are in the world. So I'm just going to exit here, save that. You want to come to, to create, then dashboard, single stat, then uh, edit metrics. This is where it's important. If you did everything right, here your information should be here. So I'm just leaving mine because I only have one database to default. But what I want is IPMI sensor. You see it's showing right there. It wouldn't be there if your um, data collector or telegraph is not working properly. So that's why I'm, it's in here. So I'm, I'm selecting from, this is like a SQL query. IPM my sensor because it's in the database where um, I just want my server to be equals to this is my iDRAG server and I also want a unit which this is what I'm getting from my iDRAG server. I'm getting amps, I'm getting degrees Celsius, I'm getting RPMs for my fan, I'm getting volts and watts. So from here you can create those power graphs that I'll show you guys later. So I, right now I want um, degrees Celsius. So it's giving me a 21. So then I'm just getting the average to make sure that I get the correct, correct value. Or otherwise, if you don't want the average, you can just do this. Last, so this will give you the last temperature when it, uh, it pulled, when the value was gotten. So this will be the actual value depending on how often you are refreshing it so you want to leave it as a time series doesn't matter then i'm actually just going to the options then right here i want to choose current make sure that i'm actually getting the real value then i can come here and say this is temperature right In degrees Celsius then from here it's just a matter of aesthetics if you want you can just show a gauge so anywhere from 21 degrees Celsius you probably want to put maybe 40 that will be really hot so now you know when you look on your graph or you can just change so that's how you get your graphs and you can follow this information to get the other values that I was showing you, like uh, the temp, the temperature, I mean the power. Of course, you would have to change this to be 154 watts under the options, or you can ch change it to RPMs. This is 3600 RPMs. Right now, let's go to our iDirect to verify that.
in uh, iDrag, it's showing me that my fan is also 3600. So that's that's good. And let's just verify the temperature as well. It's saying it's 21 degrees. So if we come back to our graph, um, you can see that um, if we go back to temperature, it's also 21 degrees. So these values are very accurate. So guys, that's exactly how you can get your own setup, get your iDrag information from this not so great looking interface to Grafana, where you can actually end up with dashboards that look semi-decent. I do use Grafana a lot for uh, a lot of things, like my power usage right here. This is what you can create from the information that I showed you today. I also use it for for my vSphere VMs. If they are online, I'm able to pull all this information from them. And I also use it for a bunch of other things. The craziest idea that I have is try to get the information for my Xbox so I know when it's overheating while playing video games. But guys, this is very, very simple to set up. If you have um, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll be showing you guys more of these graphs. And if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, this is exactly what you do. I'll see you guys in the next video on Tuesday.